<clears throat> What's up, YouTube? Um, Jip Sutton, I'm at back with another video. In today's video, I really just wanted to come and just talk a little bit about a few things. Um, I still haven't posted my blog. I really need to edit it. I really even haven't started editing my blog, but um, I'm just still in Austin. Um, just really taking Austin in. You guys, I'm in love with Austin. Austin is probably the most beautiful city I have ever been in. Um, seriously. But, I mean, I say that, but I haven't really been to that many cities. But, seriously, Austin is, like, literally, like, my top three cities now after coming here. Um, just the, the mountains, the hills. I don't even know if you, um, Texas had mountains like this like i haven't even traveled around my own state to know that texas has mountains i mean i know texas has mountains in some areas but i wasn't thinking that close to houston that there were mountains as big as the ones that are in austin and i mean they're not huge but they're just bigger than what i was expecting it's the hills and the trees and everything is just so beautiful here so i really love austin I'm so glad that i actually came here and visited um i would actually live here uh, uh, honestly, if I ever decided to live somewhere in Texas, like as I got older, I would definitely come here. But that's not even what this video is about. Um, and sorry if I'm sweaty, I just left the gym. But um, I was just thinking about a couple things. And I really want to start a podcast so I can really have a place to kind of just rant and just talk about things. Um, I think I will start a podcast. That way I don't kind of just upload random stuff to my YouTube channel because I really want to keep my YouTube channel about like traveling and stuff and you know the you know trying to do nomad type stuff you know but I will throw in other things here and you know every now and then but really for my rants and just deep discussions I would rather that be somewhere else specifically for that um but I don't know why I can't stay on topic this video is just going to be about me talking about this quarter life crisis i don't want to say it's a quarter life crisis because i'm not really in a crisis i'm just in a stage of my life where i don't know what the fuck i'm doing and i just you know, I try my best to kind of not take life so serious and to just, just go with the flow and just let life happen because, you know, I've lived long enough to know that sometimes when you plan for stuff, shit just don't go the way you planned it. Like, you could plan and plan and plan and, and literally n your plan didn't even matter because something else happened. So, I'm just in a space right now where life is happening so fast. Like, I swear, it's like once you turn 21, life literally is like you got on like a, you know how like you walk up the stairs when you get on like a, a water slide and you have to walk up all those stairs and then you get to the top and then you just get on the slide and that just, it's like as soon as you start just going down that slide, you just take off. That's what life feels like to me right now life feels like a water a water slide right now just phew. um i'm 24 years old and i swear it was just like just yesterday i was 17 like i remember being 17 so vividly and it just does not seem like it was that long ago and i remember being so scared to graduate high school because i was i've always been someone that's been scared to be an adult like i never wanted to be an adult i always knew that adult life was not what what it was cracked up to be. I was never one of those kids that was like trying to grow up too fast. So I loved being a, a teenager and being a kid. I mean, I played my video games all day. I didn't have to worry about any bills, anything, you know. So I was one of those kids that was really a kid. Like I stayed a kid for a long time. And um, I never wanted to graduate because I, that would mean that I would have to jump into the real world, figure out what I want to do in my life, figure out a career, you know, make adult decisions. And um, I will say, you know, it's not 
it's not what I thought it was, but it's also, it's hard. And I'm at this weird stage where it's just, everything is in the air. Everything is up in the air, but I'm feeling like I'm headed in the right direction for me because I feel like what I'm doing today, you know, traveling, seeing new places, I'm still able to work. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. At least I see it that way. Um, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I don't know that uh, people, there was an opportunity to work, you know, mobile and just, well, I'm sure there was opportunities, but not, there weren't access accessible to the regular common man. Like, unless you were like a truck driver or something, um, you know, just being able to travel and make money f just with my cell phone. And it's funny because t this week, um, one of my class, well, one of my classes that I have, they, we were talking about technology because I'm actually in school for IT and the assignment was how does technology affect you know the world we live in and you know i was just saying how it, it, it create cre technology has created new opportunities for people new new and unique opportunities like the fact that i'm in austin right now and i'm able to work and live in my car and make money from my phone and just do all this stuff from my phone this stuff wasn't possible 10 years ago 20 years ago when my dad or my mom were my age like they weren't they, they couldn't even fathom the possibilities that I have and that I'm that I have accessible to me like so I'm very grateful for this opportunity to be able to see places and travel on my own expense you know my own money make money and you know I'm really grateful for that so I know for me I, I want to travel that's what I like to do and that's what I want to do I want to see new places and new things and you know with Uber I have the opportunity to do that and I will never trade this for anything. And, you know, my car and everything. One, one of the things that I, that I realized when I first bought this car two years ago, I actually bought this car and started doing Uber like the next week. Like I was so dead set on doing Uber because I was just so tired of the job that I was working. I was tired of sitting in one spot. And, you know, I said, you know, I don't care what happens to this car like this this car i care about this car this is my this is how i make my money but when i say i don't care about it like the car like that meaning this car is just helping me have an experience like everything in life is is temporary you know me driving this car to the dirt i'm i mean i put like sixty thousand miles on this car in two years which is a crazy amount of miles like average is like 12 miles twelve thousand miles a year i think and I put so much miles on this car, but in my mind, I'm thinking, I'll drive this car until it's 300,000 miles if it, if it's still running because I don't care. You know, a lot of people worry about the depreciation of your car. Me, I don't care about that because I'm using this car to help me do the things that I want to do. Whether that means this car is going to be underwater, whether that means... I'm going to owe on this car and the car is going to die on me in two years and I'm still going to own Who cares? It's a car. You know, I'll just pay the car off eventually. But it's the experience that I'm getting that I can never trade for anything. And this experience of being able to just be free and take control of my life for the mo for the time being because i don't know how long i'm going to have this opportunity you know their automation they're going to have driving cars self-driving cars any day now so it's like i'm just taking an op taking advantage of an opportunity and i'm learning a lot of stuff i'm seeing a lot of stuff and i'm just broadening my horizons and that was one of the things that i had to understand about my myself is that i I may be in a weird space right now, but at the end of the day, I'm learning a lot. I mean, I'm getting this experience that is very, very unique. This is a unique experience that was not available before. And it's putting so, it's, it's giving so many people like myself an opportunity to expand and to grow and to learn. Because even though Uber is not really a business, you do run your Uber like a little personal business. You know, you have to keep track of gas. You got to make watch your mileage. You got to know which trips are worth it to take. 
you got to know like um you know taxes and everything like you learn so much so the experience that i'm getting from kind of being a, my own little business is something that i can take with me to something else you know what i mean it's it's a life experience being able to control my time it's very valuable to me the experience and um i wouldn't trade it for anything i don't I wouldn't trade it for nothing at all. Um, I've learned so much. And, you know, that's why I have to say I'm not in a crisis, but I'm in a weird place because while I don't know what my future is, I mean, I have an idea because once I graduate and get my degree in IT, of course, I'm going to um, want to get a, a career and get a job in my field, of course. So for the time being, my life is just kind of, you know, it's kind of fluid. It's like water. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Um, but as of right now, I'm just doing Uber and I'm working and I'm just figuring everything out. So I'm really in a just a, a discovery period in my life. But it's, when you look around, like people my age and they're, they've already started their careers and they've already graduated and, you know, they're already working towards building something that's very, that's sustainable and that's you know, concrete and starting families and stuff like that. It's just, you know, for me, I see stuff like that and it makes me like, wow, like what am I doing with my life? But then I think about would I really be happy in that situation? I wouldn't. So it just comes down to minding my business and doing what's best for me ultimately is what it comes down to. But um, yeah, that was just a little rant. I don't honestly know what the point of that was. I guess I just had to talk it out and figure it out myself you know how I really feel um okay and I guess it's time for me to cut yeah so I, I'm sitting here with the car off and the light just went off so <laughs> I guess that means it's time for me to end this video but um you guys stay tuned for more videos if you guys have any topics that you want me to talk about definitely you know don't be afraid to ask leave comments I mean I have 10 subscribers people if you watch this definitely you know, you want to hear some topics, let me know. I'll talk about them. Maybe I'll put them on my podcast. I'll create a podcast and we can talk about it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.